Hey everybody, it's Music Therapy Labs here on Friday the 21st and I thought I would show you guys a shot out of my uh, car's uh, front windshield here of this cool little uh, secondhand store here called Starving Musicians here in Berkeley, California where I happen to be right now. Um, I just thought I'd do my quick VEDA here on the 21st of August. VEDA is vlog every day in August and I'm going to put the camera now back. Oh, look at that double neck. Fender. That's pretty cool, right? Look at that. Whoa. Anyway, I'll probably pop in here and do a shop your mom and pop shop episode sometime next week. I'll, I'll be back here in Berkeley doing some more work around the area. I just thought I'd uh, do my beta here and slap this up there. I'm going to stick the phone on the little phone holder now. Right, y'all. My phone. My car. My My... Subaru Crosstrek. Come on, baby. Stick in there. I might want to tighten on to that, right? That. All right, there we got it. Let me put this little, got this little thing here. Kind of get it in the right height. There we go. It's a little crooked. Is that better? Anyway, so there's a Trek bicycle shop here, too. Anyway, I'm uh, here on Adeline Street in Berkeley, California. Johnny Bean, my buddy. My YouTube and buddy, Johnny Bean knows all about Berkeley I believe he lived here for a little while and um, I'm doing some work here um, at my dentist friend's place I installed uh, one of those like shields you know like they have for people to keep people from uh, breathing on each other and I'm just gonna do a quick little u-turn here I'm on Adeline Street here there's a lot of you know there's a lot of uh, really unique things about Berkeley here that um, I appreciate you know, it is uh, the home of, of course, the California Golden Bears, Berkeley, California University, uh, University of Berkeley, California, University of California, Berkeley. I guess that's the proper way of saying it. And, um, you know, Berkeley's got some unique, um, some very unique, I guess, history in that, you know, Outside of this university, there from the university, there were a lot of discoveries made in uh, early chemistry and and physics. Um, there's still many great minds that uh, teach and have taught there. The alumni uh, list there is, you know, pretty pretty staggering when it comes to the the you know the brains there. Uh, I actually had a friend of mine, um, a Hungarian friend of mine, who I was in scouts with, and she's a super awesome person. Lives in Cleveland area now, I think, in uh, Ohio with her husband and kids. But, um, yeah, she lived uh, in a, like, studio kind of apartment, downstairs floor apartment of a house of, uh, I believe it was the cousin of, uh, yeah, I believe it's the cousin of uh, Einstein. So Albert Einstein, his cousin, lived up in the Berkeley Hills here. So I was actually over there several times. She was totally cool. You know, let's do the long, long way around to where I'm working. I'm working right up the street to the right here on Channing. But um, let's just do a little visit of Berkeley, California. So Adeline Street here is kind of like the downtown in a sense. Um, to the left here, there's, uh, you know, an auditorium where I saw Satriani play, doing his surfing with the alien thing back in the day. I saw, I recently was mentioning in some chat or comments, uh, that I saw garbage and no doubt and love and rockets and and um, it was actually Billy Idol with uh, just he and with um, um, oh god why is why is his name not coming to me the guitarist oh my god one of my favorite dudes anyway he was playing acoustically I think he was playing on a Farrington uh, if you guys know what a Farrington it's a Kramer. Uh, you know, acoustic electric guitar in the in the body style of a uh, Strat. He was playing a black one. My brother Andrew has one of those. <coughs> anyway, um, so you know, Berkeley has a lot of really unique history. There's a lot of uh, art here. You know, it's a hippie town in a sense. Uh, very very liberal, and I do appreciate it for that because you know, um, it comes with its uh, negative sides in the sense that you know there are a lot of homeless and there are drug addicts and all kinds of other problems people with problems but um, here they try to be open-armed to those people and they try to do what they can to help them and let them have some of the freedom that they obviously deserve um, there's never enough money 
obviously to help everyone with these problems. Oh, I got to show you guys this. This is cool. Look, this is a this is a tuning fork, man. It's a gigantic tuning fork here in the middle of the street. Musicians know what that's all about, right? Anyway, so yeah, things like that. You're, you're gonna see funky things like that here in Berkeley, right? <laughs> Oops, sorry, I gotta gotta tighten this on so it doesn't go popping out of there. Anyway, so um, the air quality here has also gotten bad because of the fires around the Bay Area and around you know NorCal here. Um, so we do have some issues uh, with air quality, even in our area in Livermore. There's still some fires around us. Uh, um, last time I was here working, it wasn't so bad, but it looks like it's encroaching into this area too. So, and there's not a whole heck of a lot of, uh, you know, success in controlling those fires right now, unfortunately. So one, one unique and cool thing about Berkeley is, uh, there's a lot of really cool international food. All these little, like here's a Chinese Hunan food there's a Persian cuisine place here cafe Rio so that's Brazilian of course bongo burger might might have bongo burger actually I brought my own food today so can't have bongo burger but here's the one of the main entrances into University California Berkeley right I don't know if you can see the sign there let's see uh, there it is yeah there we go anyway but we're gonna take a right turn Clyde anyone knows that uh, reference check out a movie called every which way but loose <laughs> with, with uh, <laughs> Clint Eastwood crazy movie anyway so um, heading down down the road and uh, there's downtown to the right of course uh, if we keep staying straight we're gonna end up on Telegraph Avenue which is a famous uh, street here where you see a lot of like uh, street vendors and stuff like that typically but I don't know if they're out now because of COVID probably a lot of that kind of stuff is shut down I did get to see a lot of really cool sports events over here at the, the Berkeley uh, campus and in, in, within the uh, area here there's also the Greek arena or auditorium I don't know what you call it but it's basically an outdoor um, auditorium set up uh, similar to like a Greek style um, outdoor auditorium of sorts right it's not an arena it's not that big it's like an outdoor auditorium and I saw many many great bands there I uh, some of my favorite uh, events there were seeing the fine young cannibals open for UB40 I saw Third Eye Blind there. I saw, God, I can't even remember how many great bands I saw there. Many, many great bands. Um, and right up here on Durant Street, actually, there's a Hotel Durant. My uh, Uncle Joe, my Uncle Joe and I, back when I worked with him in the uh, door company in Peninsula, door company in San Mateo, um, we did some really cool doors and some cool finish and door work over at uh, the Hotel Durant way back in the day. Right on the left here is the uh, pool and I got to see the Hungarian polo, water polo team play against the uh, Cal, you know, the Cal State Golden Bears play against them. Um, you know, they whipped the Bears ass because of course they're in Hungarian water polo. Uh, if you don't know anything about Hungarian water polo, man, <laughs> they're the best. They are the best. Anyway, so we're going to take a right turn here uh, somewhere, I believe. We'll try to take a right turn somewhere. i got to get back to where the direction I'm supposed to be going, or should I have gone one more up? I don't know. I should have probably gone one more up. I wanted to show you guys. Uh, yeah, I might not be on me. Can I go left here? Yeah, I can. I'm going to go left here. Oh, I'm on Channing. That's so funny. So this is where I'm going to be. Um, but I might as well go up and show you guys Telegraph, or is it College? College Ave, I think it's Telegraph. I believe it's Telegraph. Um, anyway, they have the famous Amoeba Records over here. They have, you know, Amoeba Records is like a buy-sell record place where you can buy-sell CDs, LPs, whatnot. And along the street, there's been more than one movie shot along the street. Yeah, I guess it's a one-way, that's right, so I, I can only go one direction. I'm going after this Toyota here, so I might have to make a Yui here or turn around. But yeah, they've they've got the uh, they've got the street uh, some of the street vendors out. 
Um, Super Duper Burger up here to the right. It's a good, good burger place. And um, what can I tell you? I'm gonna have to make a U-turn because yeah, I could have gone further down Telegraph so I can give you guys a better, 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 better there. But lots of little sandwich shops and all kinds of other. Um, let me take off that. Got it zooming way too much. Um, little shops, you know, clothing shops, Walgreens Pharmacy, uh, Nietzsche uh, Ramen. Looks like a ramen food place. So, what's cool about Berkeley here is that there's just so many great little restaurants to eat at, and I'm always bringing my leftovers for for lunch here, which sucks because you know I could be eating some of this good good restaurant food here, but I gotta eat my gotta eat my my leftovers. <laughs> I I you know. You gotta eat the leftovers. I can't complain because it's uh, salad and some ribs that my sweetie made yesterday. I was working late last night. I had to do, do some work in his office here that required me to work while they, the office staff is not there. Um, so there's book, arts, cafe, and music shop. So I'm gonna take a left turn again here on whatever this street is. Oh yeah, this church over here to the right. Um, I think this is where my um, my friend Heather's son did his um, performance uh, with his symphony group, and they did uh, music uh, from video games and stuff like that. So I actually have that up somewhere in my stream uh, list or my whatever you want to call my playlist on my YouTube channel. There's um, the Star Wars one. So he did uh, they did the Star Wars. And I think that he he had to to some degree he had to write some of that stuff up. So he probably had some help with that, obviously. But he conducted the more than twenty plus, easily twenty or more. I think it was probably more like I would say probably more like thirty member orchestra of uh, alumni and students here from the Berkeley Berkeley College. And he's going to. Uh, special program. Um, he is. Uh, he's got Asperger's syndrome. Asperger's, Asperger's, Asperger's syndrome. And um, so you know he's got challenges, but he's also a genius in other ways, right? So um, awesome dude, Elliot, my buddy, my my monkey man, my monkey man, Elliot Macaulay. Probably shouldn't have said your last name, but I just did. Anyway, uh, he and his brother, his brother Nick, uh, did a live stream with me a few months ago. Um, I should probably do another live stream with Nick. That would be cool. He's a cool dude. An aspiring young musician. He's going to be going to St. Mary's, or probably already started St. Mary's College um, here um, in the area. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go take a left turn up here onto Telegraph and just show you guys what is up over here in Berkeley. I'll try to lift this up a little higher. It would be better if it was a little higher. That didn't help. Here. Is that any better? <laughs> it would be great if it was like like this. But it won't stay there. Why not? I have to tighten something. Over here. Eh, I can't make it happen right now. So I think it's good enough. Let's do it. Anyway, so yeah, I don't have the most perfect uh, setup here on the car because it's got half my thing showing. My thing. Anyway, so I'll just take a left turn here. Pete's Coffee to the right. And there's all kinds of cool little. And then right down the way here, there's this uh, famous restaurant that's famous for bringing back the art of slow cooking to America. It's a French uh, restaurant. Um, the chef there who started that restaurant a decades ago um, was bringing, you know, that uh, style of cooking and food and eating and, you know, gastronomy, I guess you call it. I'm not sure. Um, when it comes to, you know, eating foods that are fresh right off the farm, 
made for you fresh and, and you know, oh, check out this building, it's way cool. Trippy, huh? It's for lease. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but it's like made up like, uh, like the rocks over in uh, Grand Canyon or something. So we'll just kind of cruise down. There's not a lot happening. Normally the streets here are just filled with uh, like these people up ahead right here with um, you know art that's for sale. So we already kind of went by here already. So I'm gonna go left. This is I believe this is Channing. I gotta get to work. So that's uh, that's it for now. Music therapy labs. Giving you guys a little show, a little drive-through of Berkeley, California. Hope you're all staying safe, wearing your masks, staying away from the fire danger if you're up here in NorCal. And um, and I'll see you guys on, uh, hopefully Sunday I'll be able to do my live stream. I might start it late because I've got a little family get-together on Sunday. And I doubt I'm going to make it back home by 4. So it's more likely that I'll do a, a live stream on Sunday like at 7 p.m. or something. So... I'll post that up uh, in the next day or two so people are aware. And hopefully I can get uh, get uh, more viewers in on that live stream. People honking at each other. I'm not sure what it's about. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull through this parking lot here and then to the right and then I'm going to park. So catch you guys all later don't forget uh, I will be trying to, to improve on my wicked game challenge from SD design of San Diego oh my goodness you and your I will uh, talk to you guys all later and don't forget the secret to tone is in your mind but the feel comes from your heart put them together make some music and rock on later